Hello guys, this is Philip and today I'm going to talk to you about Dynamic. Dynamic is a new keyword in C Sharp 4. Actually, it's a contextual keyword and if you've watched my previous videos on C Sharp 5 and the async CTP, you've heard me talk about the contextual keywords before. This is a quote from MSDN which describes that a contextual keyword is used to provide a specific meaning in the code but it's not a reserved word in C-sharp. And for those that have developed any MVC3 applications in their early days, when the preview and the uh, release candidate were out, you've seen the, the dynamic keyword used in, in the views and how, how this was used to handle the models. I'm going to show you a demonstration uh, of this in a little bit here. So C Sharp isn't a dynamic language and even though there's a dynamic keyword you have to know that this is actually a static type. So the dynamic keyword is actually a static type. So in the end this is just an object that you use as any other object, right? So I'm going to show you a, a couple of demos. I'm going to start off by showing you how uh, they did this in, in MVC3. It doesn't matter really if you know any MVC3 or any web development. I'm just going to show you a couple of cool ways that they made use of the dynamic keyword. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to create a page that's just going to display some information about a person. And so I'm going to expect a model, a dynamic model, Okay, so what I'm, what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to be writing out the person's name and I expect that the name is actually a property on my dynamic type here. So I expect that the model passed to my view here is going to have a property name. So if I go into my home controller here and add a new action result, And and create a new expandable object. The expandable object is the object that you use when you want to create a dynamic type. So what I can do now is that I can add properties here. So f for instance, I can add the name property. I could add the age. And I could even add a method to this if I want to. And all this works. It even compiles and this is pretty cool. I could call my person dot my method. I could call person dot name, and you see here that I've got IntelliSense inside this context. But once that I go into my view again, I won't have this this IntelliSense because the type is dynamic, so I'm not going to get any IntelliSense. So if I just return the relevant properties here for my person and go back into here and and add another property that is age. Model dot age. So what I have now is that I have a, a string, and I have a, an integer. And let's see how this is represented on the web page. And there it is, Philip Eckberg, age ten. So this is how we might have seen the dynamic keyword used in, an, in the early version of ASP.NET MVC. Uh, I won't argue with you if this is the, the, the good way or the bad way to do it. Generally, you might want to have your models strongly typed. You might have seen here that I could add a method and I want to show you an example that I can actually run and show you how this, this works. So I'm going to go into a console application here that I just created and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add uh, some kind of method dynamic 
x is equal to new expando object x dot sum method is equal to a new action and this action will just do a console write line hello philip and what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to invoke some method and I still get the IntelliSense because I'm in the same context here and if I run this application here it's going to say hello philip so what happened here is that it actually finds some method at runtime and so if I run this here you see that it prints out hello philip and this worked. What I could even do is that I can remove the expando object here and I could say that dynamic some method and just say run some method. If we have this person here and we add a couple of properties to this, philip person dot age is equal to 24, person dot age is equal to 24, you see that we don't actually get any compilation errors, so we don't get any IntelliSense errors. So if I print this object here, console to write my, my name, my name is 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 person dot name and the age the age is that and if I run this here it's gonna run just fine this is one of the benefits of using the dynamic keyword and also one of the pitfalls because you don't have the intelligence to tell you when something is wrong and you don't have any any runtime checks that the value is actually set to something that you had up here you expect that the person dot h here is an integer and when you're down here you change it that to become a string instead so what happens if I do if person dot h is bigger than 20 I do this hello so if I run this application here I hopefully I'm gonna get an exception and I did but if I remove this two lines here and run the application again it's gonna say hello so this has been a brief introduction to the dynamic keyword and I've shown you how it's been used and I've shown you some some of the things that you need to be aware of. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for watching.